We're going to create a template for a letterhead design in Word. So first you want to export out your backgrounds for your Word template. So this is the background for the first page and then I want the rest of the pages in the document um, to contain a, a simpler design. So let's export our first design. So we export this out as page one as a PDF. We want page one here. This is going to open up in Adobe Acrobat Pro and that's great because we actually want to save it again as a uh, PNG because you can't save directly from InDesign as a PNG and PNGs work great in Microsoft programs. So we're going to save that out. We're going to make sure our settings are at 300 pixels per inch so they print pretty well. I'm just going to save it out here. Then we're going to go back into our InDesign file and save out the second page. Same process, just page two, save as a PDF. Do the same process here. Image, PNG, settings 300. Save that out. Okay, now we have our backgrounds, we're going to go into Word. We're actually going to create a couple of documents here. The first document, we're just going to set up our letterhead. So I'm going to put in a bunch of text just so we see what we're working with and we can have a two-page document so we can see the difference between the two pages. So now we've created this document. I'm going to put this to the side and create a new document. Now this is just a simple way of grabbing um, a full-page background rather than having to put it in there in the header and footer uh, and format it there using the watermark function. It's much easier to format this easily. You can fill the whole screen. So let's grab our PNG for our first page. Select it as a picture. Take the washout off, which means it's, see how it's faded back here? If we click that off, it's much brighter. So that's at 100%. Fill our whole page, press OK. Double click on the image and it gets you, it goes inside the header and footer. Press copy. Go back to our document that we previously set up with all the text. Now we need to do a couple of things before we insert this background. We're going to go into Format, Document, choose Layout and make a different first page. So this means we can have um, an introductory page and then the rest of the document would have a simpler design. So we need to press that. Let's press OK. Then we're going to go into our header and footer here and view. We're going to paste and look at that, it fills the whole space which is great but unfortunately it's blocking out all this text here. So to change that and to make sure that this doesn't move when we change margins, you want to format the picture, you want to have it behind the text and you want to click to advance and you want to have it linked to the page, not the margin. So if you change the margins at the top or the bottom, it's not going to affect the watermark in the background. Press OK and there come all our text is back. And as you can see on the second page there is no header and footer which is great. So we're going to put that one in next. So we're going to go back to our header and footer here. We're going to go back into watermark and we're going to switch it out to our second page, PNG. All these settings stay the same. We're going to double click on this image up here, grab it again. Go into our second page of the document. Do header and footer. Paste it in. We have the same problem so we have to format our picture. Make sure it's sitting behind the text. Click on alignment page, alignment page. And there we go. Ta da! We have an intro page with one background, and then the next page doesn't have the same background, it has a completely different one. And you might want to format this in here, just selecting the header and footer margins. I'm going to change this to be a bit bigger because we have a big graphic at the top here. I'm just going to change both of those to that and that will push our design down so we have room for it. And that's it.